Hello folks, it's DIY Guy 123 bringing you another do-it-yourself repair video. So this is one of those uh, very large garbage cans on wheels. Uh, they're they're quite expensive. It was in it was came with the property that I just recently bought, and um, one of the uh, hinges was broken. It had a crack across here, and of course I neglected to deal with it, and and here I am with the second hinge that broke. And before the third one broke, I decided I should do the responsible thing and perform some maintenance on this. So these cans are, like, they're very expensive. They're probably near $100, and uh, I certainly wanted to repair it. It's made out of, I don't even know what kind of plastic, but some kind. And um, it melts really easily. So I used a regular heat gun and just a flat screwdriver to heat the area and then kind of mush plastic back and forth to kind of, you know, melt the crack back together. But those cracks were a weak point when it was brand new, and my repairs are certainly going to be a weak point, you know, after melting them back together. So what I have done is taken a tip from some folks that repair plastic canoes. And in addition to melting the plastic back together, I'm going to melt in some screen. So this would be like stainless steel screen from a screen door or window screen. In fact, I said stainless. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but it doesn't rust. And... Um, you know, you could take a pencil and drive it through there, and you might think, oh, it's not very strong. But if you distribute the force over the full, like, quite a surface area, this stuff is extremely strong. So all I've done right here is cut a piece to fit, and then with the heat gun on that area, I'm taking the standard screwdriver and poking and poking until I basically sink the plastic into the metal. I don't, I'm not looking for any points for, uh, you know, how clean the repair looks. Really don't care about that. I just don't want the lid to come off. And so I'm going to go do this last part where my helpers hold the camera and I will demonstrate for you how this is. So I've already cut the piece to fit. And, and of course this is hot so you don't want to burn yourself. And already you can see this mesh just sinking into that plastic. I'll just, actually I got this. Now that, now that the plastic is sort of stuck in one spot, I can work away at other parts. And what you'll see is the plastic will squeeze through the holes in the mesh, which is just fine. And then after a while, you get a bit of plastic, it'll just kind of smooth it through. Now when that part cools, it's not cold yet, but when that part cools, it'll hold the mesh in place and I can poke it into a crevice in here. Yeah, there it's starting. So if you're kind of patient and you take your time, you can kind of, you know, get it all into an area. Without getting it too hot, it's preferable to not get it too hot because the hotter it is, the longer it takes to cool. And then you, you have to wait for that area to cool before you can move on to somewhere else because otherwise it'll draw the uh, mesh out. So, adding the mesh just makes this repair many, many times more effective. I will agree it doesn't look the best, but I don't care. Now one thing to watch out for is after you've done a repair like this, you will end up with sharp parts where the metal mesh is protruding. I've already done it on this back side. If I hadn't put any mesh on the back side, I'd just continue to use that. But this will do a little bit of a cleaner repair. We're almost done. If, uh, if you're really concerned about, you know, a very pretty repair and you're very careful, you can almost make that mesh disappear when you sink it into the plastic enough. I don't care about that on a garbage kit. But if it was a canoe or something else, I might take more time at it. It's nice to have total embedment of the mesh, but not necessary. Oh, 
Well, one thing my father taught me is when you're done a job, stop playing with it because you're not going to make it any better. You're only going to make it worse. And that's it. So I could continue to mess with that, but really, oh, breaking my rule. Really, it's not going to make any difference. When the plastic is really hard and cooled right down, I may take a file over some of those rough edges, but I probably won't. Okay, so here's a quick update. Uh, when we thought we were finished, we waited for this all to cool. Then we went to open the lid and we realized it was fused to the bottom. And I had heated just a little bit too much this area and it fused to down there and this area and it fused to down there. So what I had to do is take a long blade on a construction knife and slide it in like this and trim off any of that plastic that had laminated together. Okay, good luck with your do-it-yourself project. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.